New at 10, all-terrain vehicles and public roads are becoming a dangerous and deadly mix. Our Scripps National Investigative reporter Amanda Cost is tracking the shift to fatal terrain. Okay, oh, 911. Hey, you kids are running over here. I run them over here. They're on the ground when they stand at gate. The call for help from this Wisconsin County road. 18-year-old Shad Raby died here. He was illegally driving an all-terrain vehicle on this public paved road. Struck by a trailer trying to pass him on the ATV. Killed instantly. The driver of the car is going to win. It's a four-wheeler. They're not going to have a chance. And ATVs are not supposed to. All-terrain vehicles are designed and built to be driven off-road. They don't have on-road tires, turn signal equipment needed for on-highway. Kathy Van Cleek runs government relations for the trade organization representing major ATV manufacturers and distributors. For decades, their stance has been clear. ATVs should never be operated on paved roads or on public roads. But they are. And more ATV fatalities are occurring on public roads than off-road, according to the most recent data from the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Nearly 1,250 fatal ATV crashes occurred on public roads from 2009 to 2013, compared to nearly 1,000 fatal off-road crashes. The fact is that ATVs sometimes are very hard to see if you're in a car or in a truck. Bob Adler is the commissioner for the Consumer Product Safety Commission. They should be used in ATV parks where it's safe and where the vehicles were designed to be used. Just within the last decade, 22 states have enacted laws in varying forms expanding on-road ATV use. In an increasing number of states like Wisconsin, local governments have the authority to allow ATVs on public roads. We need to open these county roads to ATVs. Here in Price County, Wisconsin, where the ATV rules of the road were recently up for debate. Among those pushing for ATVs on more paved roads, the local ATV club president. To make it easier for tourism to get from township or from place to place. And Price County officials voted to open up more public roads for ATVs. Would you call it bad public policy? I would call it very bad public policy. They are moving in a very dangerous and wrong direction. The CPSC and ATV Trade Association continue their efforts to warn elected officials before they consider authorizing ATV use on public roads. But keeping up with the movement in states and local municipalities has been an uphill battle. From the Scripps Washington Bureau, I'm Amanda Cost.